So yeah, I grew up in a huge apartment complex in East New York, Brooklyn. All right, and if you grew up Brooklyn. in a, Brooklyn, and if you grew up in a luxurious environment like that before the internet, you know that's your whole world right there. There's no Korea town, no little Tokyo, no internet, no nothing, right? No cell phones. So right, basically, your entertainment was just to be outside with the boys, you know, play tag, hide and seek, chasing a rabbit, and. We did this thing too, like we will go to the next block or the next section of the project. Not the project, but the luxurious apartment complex. Because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, words like somebody got shot. So let's go see to find the body. <laughs> yeah, so we will do that. It's Stand By Me, Brooklyn style. So, I was going to say. Yeah, some, some stupid ass shit like that. But yeah, that was our entertainment when we were young until it was like, oh, it is G.I. Joe time. Then everybody went oh, home. Everybody's like, go. oh, I gotta watch G.I. Yeah. Joe and <laughs> went home. <laughs> and TV shows like G.I. Joe, He-Man, Smurfs, you know, Sunday morning stuff and Transformers. Right. But like stuff like that, no Japanese stuff. I mean, later mm -hmm. on, we found out Transformers was a Japanese stuff, but they made it, uh, they made an anime, the cartoon version here. Right. So we always thought, you know, nobody really cared. I mean, sometimes my parents will take me to the mall in Queens where there was a huge arcade, video game arcade. And every time I pass that place, you know, I would just get sucked into that place. Just into the arcade. The arcade? Yeah. And I couldn't oh, yeah. even play them because, <laughs> you know, in Japan, if you go to an uh, arcade, like Geisen Arcade, you uh -huh. all sit down because the cabinets are lower, right? But here, right. we play standing up. Right. And as a kid, you know, the controls up here. So, you know, right, even though you right. get a quarter, like you die mad quick. It's a waste <laughs> of money. So my mom would just give me one quarter. And it didn't matter because I would just stand there and then look into those screens and get lost. Right. Till my mom's like, it's time to go. <laughs> and I'm like, ah, oh, no, I don't want to go. I wanted to stay there forever. But again, games like what? Galaga, Donkey Kong. Right. You know, Pac-Man. Pac-Man. They're all Japanese. But, of course, we didn't know. Right. And, you know, the names like Namco, Taito, Nintendo, they all sounded right. weird. But, you know, so did Atari. So, right. we didn't care if it was Japanese or not. Nobody knew. Mm -hmm. Then one day, the Karate Kid dropped. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> but dropped, I mean, dropped in the theaters. And nobody uh -huh. knew. Because we didn't have internet, didn't know like if it dropped or not. Unless you right. know, you catch the what the, the TV commercial at the right time, then you know. Otherwise, you still don't know, right? Right. How I found out was, I remember this day, like me and the boys. I remember the dudes too. It was me, Vinny, uh, Michael, and punk ass Alex. Like four of us just doing our stupid little shit outside, and then you start to see dudes, like the hood dudes. The block they're doing the crane kick probably they saw the movie right and we're right. like oh shit, what's that <laughs> yeah i mean because it's you know like we never been outside of the uh apartment complex right? right so to us everything you know if you do that every oh my god is there some kung fu shit, some chinese stuff and right. we really wanted to go ask them but you know they're hood dudes they're older dudes too they had guns in right. so like nobody was like brave enough to go like ask him. but they then they saw us and it's like yo right. like you know what this is like of course we didn't know so we're like yo man that's cool what is that and dude was like yo this is japanese karate kid and we were like oh my god what's that what's japanese karate we didn't even know what japanese karate was <laughs> right <laughs> then we're like yo but then that right there was the first time i heard the word japanese maybe i heard it before but you know it registered to my brain right and we were like oh my god so cool then you know these guys like yo motherfuckers come here i'll show it to you and we all like Shh, because we knew what's coming now right oh damn dude. <laughs> so four of us <laughs> was like ah oh, <laughs> kind of reluctantly walking towards them then i heard a dude running away. I looked back. Get Alex ran back home. <laughs> Fuck ass Alex ran back home. It was like just three of us who were like, 
and now we're getting our asses kicked. But of course, you know, he didn't really uh, like Majigeri, he didn't kick us for real. But it was right. a, just a joke. But right, we all right. got kicked like one by one. <laughs> <laughs> <We're> like, ah! <laughs> Yo, even after that, we all like, oh my god, so cool. I gotta learn that shit. I really right. gotta know this Japanese karate thing too. And I'm like, oh my god. But how do you learn it? You gotta watch the movie. So everybody went home and begged our parents, like, please, I gotta watch this Japanese karate movie. It's called Karate Kid. And of course, like a few days later, you know, parents kind of, you know, did the, the, the one car thing because you go to uh-huh. the theater with one car, like your parents, your friend's parents' car. Right? right. Everybody goes together. We went to watch the movie, and from the very next day, man, we're outside, man, just doing the karate kick. <laughs> <laughs> like 400 kicks a day we never got sick of it you know what's funny the thing is the word got around super quick because everybody mm-hmm. was doing that and it seems like everybody in the apartment complex watched the movie so I see people doing that stuff everywhere and I was right. just like wow like this Japanese karate thing is it's real it's real taking the world by storm dude. exactly and yeah I mean, the funny thing is, I think we talked about this before, but what Karate Kid did to me was it opened up my eyes to Japanese stuff. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, again, if you don't have any background knowledge, you don't know, even in, like in front of your eyes, like what's Japan, what's Japanese. Right. But then yeah. I start to see things. My TV, not my TV, my parents' TV, actually, was so <laughs> right. Rice cooker, right. Joji Rishi. Uh-huh. Walkman right. made in Japan, even what like Maruchang and Nishin noodles, right? They're all uh-huh. Japanese yeah. stuff, and it right, opened right. up my. I was like, oh my! I was overwhelmed. I'm like, oh my god! And all these Japanese stuff has been around me all this time, and I didn't even know. And like just finding out one by one, I super felt closer to like Miyagi Sensei. And I feel <laughs> right. <laughs> I feel like Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I'm already eating the noodles. Yeah. And the the tea, I'm in me. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, like, punk ass Alex, he ran away, right? Mm-hmm. And later on, like, of course, the next day, we all like, yo, look, chess Alex. And we were just like, oof, like hitting him, right? Like, and Duo was like, oh, did you guys learn how to do it? I'm like, and he looked at me. I'm like, yo, let like, me show you real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, close. <laughs> Three of us just like, whoosh. <laughs> I got a question for you. How old were you guys at the time? Uh, it has to be what, like six, seven, or eight. Uh, probably we were still. Oh, okay. in, uh, we, were, we were in grade school already. Uh, maybe seven, yeah, seven, eight, eight ish. Right around that time. Okay, grade school. Yeah. And those guys that we, you guys saw for the first time, the first time you saw the crane kick. Yeah. How old were those guys? No, they had to guys? be in their twenties, man. Because they didn't Yo, go to school. Yo, that old? Damn, yeah, they, they weren't didn't even... go to school. <laughs> <laughs> These are hood dudes, man. Yeah, but they're in their 20s. They weren't like high schoolers nah, or anything nah, like that? Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> That's that life. That's that luxurious apartment complex life right there. <laughs> <laughs> right.